Hey guys, um, as I promised, I would do a little video Q and A uh, thing, blog, what it is, and that. So, starting with question one, which I got on Facebook. Uh, what equipment do I use in the gym and why? Uh, I use whatever feels good. You know? So it could be machines, cables, yep, yeah, cables, uh, barbells, dumbbells. Um, I use, I use, pretty much use most of it. Um, I use whatever I feel beneficial. If you like a certain machine, you feel it works, and you feel exactly what you're supposed to be feeling, as opposed to doing the same movement on a barbell. Why not use a machine? I, I think it's silly. People say you shouldn't use machines, or you should only use barbells, or you shouldn't use barbells because they cause injuries. Um, I mean, everything I think is where it has its place. Um, how do I address injuries? Um, I don't really often have injuries uh, so far. I get niggles, as as, as everyone does. Um, so what I've been taught, because I have a, a sports therapist who I do a lot of deep tissue with, um, and he always said to me, any injury caused in motion is usually healed in motion, which is what he said, uh, which I found to be quite true. So if I have a, say, a niggly shoulder and certain pressing movements hurt it, avoid, I'll avoid them and I'll do... I'll switch them up for movements that don't aggravate the injury. And then over time, I found that the injury sort of just disappeared. And that works for niggles. If it's an actual injury, uh, which I've never had, again, um, I would go and see a doctor because it's an injury, so you should. A uh, question I had on Facebook. Um, this guy said to me, he can only train three to four sessions a week, um, and how would I break them up? Um, if I could do three, I'd push four legs, but I'd probably put legs in the middle, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, push would just be, I'm um, sorry, pull, push even, would be chest, shoulders, triceps, um, so any, any pushing, pressing movements. Uh, legs, I would do a couple of compound movements, say squats, leg press, um, and then extensions, and then hamstring curls, and then some, some calves. Uh, the four-day split, which is what I used to do, which is chest and buys, legs, Wednesday off, um, and I'd do shoulders and tries, and then back on a Friday, and that's what I did for quite a while. And I think it worked very well. Uh, <clears throat> this is the question I pretty much get every day. Um, I do get every day, which I'm sure most of you bodybuilders out there will get. What do I typically eat in a day? Quite a lot. Not huge, grotesque am amounts that a lot of people claim to eat. Like, oh yeah, I eat a thousand grams of potato a day. Brilliant. But this is what I eat in a day. Uh, for, I can't give you the, the full amounts because it's not it's, it's not my diet. It's Nathan Harmon of Pro Bodies Diets. Um, but I normally eat, so for breakfast I have oats, uh, egg whites and beef. And then meal two I will have um, a chicken wrap salad, just uh, the whole meal wraps usually, two of those. Um, meal three is just beef and potato with vegetables. Uh, meal four would be chicken Udos and rice with vegetables, um, and then I'll train. Um, I'll talk about my supplements um, in the next question, uh, and then after training, I will have potato with chicken again. Um, I don't normally have vegetables post workout because I find it, I find them hard to eat. It's just me. I just you know when you feel a bit like you feel just rough after training legs, you don't want to sit there shoveling down peas or broccoli. You just don't want it. <laughs> you just don't want it. You just want to sit there feeling like shit basically. Um, and then I have, before bed, I normally have salmon and salad, or, but most of the time I locked out for a, uh, my fusion shake with some Udo's oil in it again, uh, so, yeah, that's about, that's what I, I typically eat in a day, and it keeps me going, and it works well, so, yeah. Uh, the next question as well, which I often get asked, which I said I'll answer, is supplements, what supplements do I use? These are the supplements I use. Um. Uh, I like to use, uh, I have my staples, which are uh, from the Gaspari range, because I'm very, very, very fortunate to have Gaspari Nutrition behind me, which a lot of you know already. Um, but for the staples, which I have always used, would be just the Anavite, the uh, Glutamine, uh, the Aminolast. Um, well, actually, they're, they're the essentials I would just keep in all the time. Um, I would also probably say that the BCA 6000 is another one that I would consider a staple for me as well. Um... My sort of my, around my training, my nutrition is uh, my supplements are is when it changes the most. Um, so off season at the moment, I have my Glycofuse, uh, BCA six thousand, the uh, glutamine and creatine pre workout. Sometimes I'll have a super pump. It depends on how I feel, what I'm training. If it's legs, squats, deadlifts, 
<laughs> I'll probably throw it in just because you know you need the extra push. Um, whilst training, I have the size on and amino last. Whilst training and post workout again, I'll have the, the same as pre workout, just obviously mine is a super pump. Um, I often use vasotropin as well, and that does give awesome pumps. So that's normally a, a product I use when it comes to weaker areas. Uh, so that's what I'll use there. Um, and then half an hour after training, I'll have my myofusion, and then I'll eat. That's it. Simple, simple stuff. So, yeah, and that's typically, that's the my questions that I have in front of me today. But if any guys, any of you guys, girls, old people, any anything, have any sort of questions you want to ask or you want to know, um, I, can, I can only give my personal opinion on things. I can't tell you what's right and what's wrong because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not an expert. But I can help as much as I can. So if you guys want to hit me up on Facebook, uh, I'm on Twitter, or you can even go directly to the Gaspara Nutrition UK website as well. Um, so any questions at all, I'll do my best to answer them as best I can. So thanks for watching, guys.